Leaders of Connecticut's smallest towns are meeting in Cromwell at this hour for the Connecticut town meeting. One major topic at the center of discussion there, high-speed Internet. State Comptroller Kevin Limbo tells News 8's Ken Pierce what it will mean for schools and businesses across the state. Keith, the group meeting here is called COST. That stands for, stands for the Council of Small Towns. This four-hour meeting today here at the Crown Plaza in Cromwell gives them a chance to meet with some of the state's top leaders and hear from them and ask them questions, too. Governor Malloy gave the opening statement here and took questions from the mayors, first selectmen, and town managers as well. Then the lieutenant governor spoke, and then there was a panel discussion with all the leaders of the General Assembly, both houses, both parties represented. Then came State Controller Kevin Lembo. He is here to talk about a brand new piece of infrastructure he wants to see built in Connecticut. It's not a bridge, not a road. It's high-speed Internet. And we spoke to him and others earlier this morning, and they say this could make a huge difference in Connecticut from businesses to schools to low-income households. Businesses always want to be near rail lines or big highways, but these days another kind of infrastructure is critical for business. That's why Connecticut is trying to build a high-speed on-ramp to the information superhighway. We met Comptroller Kevin Lembo and other officials at Union Station to talk about the new infrastructure called Gigabit. Gigabit is equal parts infrastructure and economic development. So it's not just talking about ports and planes and rails and roads. Instead, it's a faster way to get information. <laughs> Sure, you can already watch cat videos just fine on your phone. Businesses need more bandwidth. Certainly not about cat videos. I get that. Um, this is really about people like me, people like the bioscience clusters, moving millions of records, hundreds of millions of records every day. Already 46 cities and towns have signed on to upgrade to one gigabit speed internet, and they just got 10 bids from companies that want to build it. The towns have something to offer in return. State regulations have changed so that now every town owns a little piece of every single utility pole that's in that town so they can offer that space as a way to string all the cables necessary to make the Internet run much faster than it does now. We're exceptionally slow, even when compared to the rest of America. So right now, we need to be competing globally. New England needs to be competing globally. Imagine if I-95 were several lanes wider, how much easier life would be. That's kind of what a faster information superhighway would do for business. One other part of the plan is to bring the Internet to people who can't afford it. They call that the digital divide. So what we're trying to do is close the digital divide, give access to people that people can learn using the Internet. If you don't have the ability, well, guess what? You're behind the times. So who's going to pay for all this? Where well, the company that wins the bid to build it is going to pay for the building and then make that money back by charging people to use the high-speed Internet. The best guess right now is that's going to cost about $70 a month. I did get an email today from the New England Cable and Telecommunications Association. It says that existing Internet service providers already give Connecticut consumers some of the fastest Internet around, and they're even testing gigabit-fast Internet later this year. In Cromwell, I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.